The passing of CDF Francis Omondiagola marks a significant loss for Kenya. KDF Ahua. KDF Ahua. Uh, Your Excellency, yesterday gave you a slight brief on what Mze would have wanted. And uh, today when we're picking him up from the morgue, I'm glad your direction for merging the military and our wishes have been respected. Mze lying over here, the casket he's lying in, uh, is a very simple mbao ambayo taijapigwa randa. It's very rough. I've just been told it actually costed 6,800 shillings. I mambo mingi ya casket ati mutu mkubwa 500,000, 1 million. His essence and spirit is no longer with us. This is a body which he served the country with and now it is finished. In addition to that, let me just briefly address the rumors I've been seeing on social media asking, is this guy, was he Muslim, the rights he wants to be buried with, what's happening? Your Excellency, as you know, Jesus himself, how he was buried, he was wrapped in a sheet and put in a tomb. Right now, Mze is wearing the uniform he donned for number one functions, but tomorrow we'll be wrapping him in the sheets, we'll extract him from the casket and lay him in the ground so that he can return to us dust as quickly as possible just the way he wanted it, and just following the man he admired the most, Jesus Christ. Your Excellency, my father always alikwana mambo matatu kama wewe, not the same, but all these speeches were divided into three. Today I'll divide it into four, because he was a foster general. Firstly, you've heard from Bishop Lele about his love for God. Uh, somewhere in that helicopter wreck is his Bible, which was his most precious possession. Anyone who worked with him in DHQ, MAB, LAB, wherever, can attest that he always had a Bible with him. And I am hoping they are able to retrieve it from the accident. I don't want to keep it as a memento, and for the rest of the family as well. His Bible meant a lot to him, and between me and him, the rest of the family, my mom and my wife were a bit slow, but we'd always engage in a competition for reading the Bible and discuss the mortality and all these things of life. He understood that his position was temporary and it would always end. Leading up to his death, he almost knew that his time was up, despite having very many plans for the military and, and for his family. But he spoke in a certain tone that would suggest that, my son, uh, I won't always be here, and you will need to take care of my wife and my other children, which I am more than ready to do, and it will not be a problem. And Matthew, Matthew 5.3, Beatitudes of Jesus. It says that blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. He was the poorest man in spirit. Easy chase cars, mingi, office, kupua, watu kumuita, CDF, general, sir. To him, it was all vanity. It was a necessary thing for him to be able to fulfill his job. Nothing more. As he lays here uh, with his uniform, I see they put his medals, his sword, and boots. He loved it as a tool for the job, but nothing more. Don't be under any illusion that he thinks is important once he breathed his last. That was point number one, his love for God. His po point number two and point number three is a very blurry line. It is about his soldiers and his family. I can guarantee you right now, Ule private mwenye meka pale juu kwa kona and me, he viewed us almost the same. You may not have had the same privileges I might have had being his son, but in his heart of hearts, the lowest person, the cleaner, to his vice, he treated all of them with respect. 
and he respected every single human life. His worst days was when he had, uh, or rather different days he has, his soldiers have been hit. He was actually mourning like he was mourning a, a child. And he'd go down to his knees and ask, God, what is happening here? Had from his strength, Naitaji could lima hi alta bawa kabisa, Naitaji could lima hi bandits kabisa, which is what he was doing in the line of duty when he went down. And I want to tell even the bandits or al Shabaab who are celebrating, mutu mwenye alikuwa na lima lima kilo wakati, muongeze click. What ya SF, mukipewa mission, ya kuenda kulima adui, maliza kabisa. Na ukifanya skamishi, confirm. Wongeze tatu za kichwa. That's how he would have wanted it. He wanted to die, in fact, fighting one of these enemies. And so, musikubali kuo gopa al-shabab. Kama mbudo siwenyu hako wano gopa adui, basi wano gopa nini. Siyea melala hapa. Na sisi wote tuto lala hapa. Usipende maisha yako yote sana. Na hiko kitu moja kubwa kushinda yewe, mwenyezi mungu na inchi yetu ya Kenya. Lima huwa al-shabab. Lima huwa musiangushe kliku. Muongeze, muongeze, muongeze. Watu ya boni, endele ni kuongeza click kabisa. Because his ultimate dream was to have a fully peaceful Kenya. Hii mambo ya watu kugongo, kongwa hitting civilians left, right and center. He had told me many times, General Karangi started that or that side, I will finish it. He may not be done to finish it, but all of you, now have a responsibility. Musi angusha yo click, weke ni tu. And he always used to say, kazana, weka, kazi mbele, na mungu mbele. Now, lime adui kabisa. Lime adui. Atakufanyia nini? Utakuja hapa, we'll celebrate you, but Kenyans will remain safe. Those tears of the women in Baringo, and their children, and the people who are displaced, they won't go in vain. Ata sasa wenye wako deployed duko, when you are chukua mili zao kwa ndege, don't despair, boy. Kazi nendelea. He is gone. Amri bado hiko. Since ya metuwa amri, yo maali lazima ifageliwe kabisa. Na hivyo ndi itakua. That was point number two and three. I'll talk about his family briefly. He really loved his wife. And he loved us also as a family. And he did everything for us. Anything he was ready to sacrifice for us, he believed in, in us completely. And his wife, I know, he kept on telling me, And mom, I will take that job seriously, uh, to the best of my ability. Lastly, if you knew General, he loved reading, he loved playing golf. I know his golf bad is really missing. And he said in an interview when Excellency appointed him was the last time he played. And just when we were talking on Saturday, I told him, that's okay, retire, itakuwaje. And he told me, I look forward to going back to golf. But his primary consideration always was this great nation of Kenya. He loved it. And in his death, he wishes that Kenya will remain totally secure, free from external influence, and any Kenyan, be it from Baringo, Chemolingot, Lamu, Mandera, Wajia, any corner of this country, he wanted them to be safe. A child to go to school, get an education, pursue their dreams, and he died doing that and there is no greater death for him. He loved, besides his golf reading, I believe we as a family genuinely believe General had more than 24 hours in a day. Because in a day, Tuesdays and Fridays, in fact, we are normally here. This Tuesday, we were here doing the uh, Defense Forces physical readiness test. He said, if I'm the General, I have to show that this test is possible. And ironically, he did, I think, the most press-ups of everyone here. Not the most press-ups, but the most push-ups. We did push-ups. He did 80 of them at his age, over 60. He did 
press-ups, I think about 50, and he ran 3.2 kilometers in about 19 minutes, which is absolutely phenomenal for his age. So, pia nyinyi muku uko juu, watu ya vitambi, fuateni mwenende ya general. So, unawana me toshe kwa sanduku vizuri, aoja finya finya toshe vizuri. And so, lastly as I finish, the most important lesson, should, should you disregard his love for God and what God can do to you in your life and the battles he can help you in, should you disregard everything, I can tell you something. Ukiwa na mkonogam, auta ipata baraka. Even when God wants to give you money and resources, you need to open your hands, you need to empty your pockets. But yana, general if you see umulize, yo so umevapo, nipatie, anakupatia. General, nimekwa maava, nisaidie. He will give you. He was so generous, and as a result of that, as a family, we have never lacked. I am to just try, test your faith, test your faith. Start, mwenye nakombanga pesa, ato umechoka na yaaji. Give him, forget about it. Najua apa, he told me the amount of debt ordered to him, and I enjoyed him. If you ever die, eh, kwa mazishi yako, nitaenda nianze kuchukua hizo madeni yangu, ndo at least ni jengeme amba wanya, nyumba mahali. But like I said, my yo ni sadaka ni me patiya mungu, and so generosity, Gen just test your faith. Yo wache ni kushikilia vitu kwa mfu, fungua mukono, God will bless you. We will miss him. He was a great, great, simple man, and we love him. And to the entire KDF fraternity, Poleni sana, we stand with you and especially for the people who perish with him. We, in fact, were running with that whole group here on Tuesday. And Tuesdays and Friday were his days. If I can ask, kwa makambi zenu, chukwe ni yo fitness serious, mkwe muna kimbia kimbia, so that at least you can take the physique and also better your own health. Asante sana, and God bless all of you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Joel for such a rich tribute to your dad, General Francis Omondi Ogo.